In this class, we will discuss about transit time effect. Now, let us draw a transmission line. As you can see that, I have given a sinusoidal signal here or AC signal. I have drawn a load here. This has been connected by a wire, right? So, this is nothing but your transmission line, right? In the previous videos, we have understood what is a transmission line. It is nothing but the medium over which the power is transmitted. Over here, the medium is nothing but these two wires, right? Now, let us say that I want to transmit an sinusoidal voltage. Let me draw that. So, let us say that this sinusoidal voltage I want to transmit from one point to another point. Let me call some points here. Let us say that this point is nothing but A dash to another point let me call as B, B dash. So, I want to transmit this sinusoidal voltage from A, A dash to B, B dash. Now, let us say that let me mark some point at any instant of time let me call as some V p voltage. So, I want to transmit this V p voltage from A dash to B, B dash. Let us say that the length of this is L. So, the length between these two points is let us say that L. So, as we know that I want to transmit this signal to this point, you know that it needs some time, right? Because any signal cannot travel with infinite speed, right? So, it need it need to travel with some velocity. If it is traveling with some velocity in order to cover some length, it needs some time. So, the time would be given by time would be nothing but the length of the wire and the velocity with which it is traveling right. So, L is nothing but my length, V is nothing but the velocity with which the voltage is traveling right. Now, let us say that it has been traveled to B B dash, it means the V P has been traveled to B B dash. So, now the voltage, the voltage at B B dash is let us say V P. But can I say that by the time the V P has traveled to A dash to B B dash, can I say that the voltage at A dash has been changed? It may happen that right. So, let us say that by the time the voltage at a dash is some voltage called as VQ. Let me mark some voltage here, a VQ voltage. So, what we are saying is initially we said let us say the length of this transmission line is let us say L. I want to transmit this VP voltage to BB dash point. The time taken for this VP voltage to reach BB dash is nothing but the length by velocity with which it is traveling. By the time this voltage has reached to BB dash, the voltage at A dash has been has to get changed right because it is a sinusoidal voltage right. So, by the time the voltage has been changed to let us say some VQ. Now, it means the voltage at A dash is VQ, the voltage at BB dash is VP. Now, can I say that these two voltages are not same right. So, you can see that VP and VQ are not same right. So, can I say that there will be significant potential difference right. If the board the, between the two points the voltages are not same it means that is nothing but your potential difference right. So, we have some potential difference and the time which it has taken to travel this length is nothing but what is called as transit time. So, this time is nothing but your this time is nothing but your your transit time right. So, we have we got the transit time also. So, one can ask when can I neglect the transit time right that is the next question. I can neglect the transit time when the potential difference between the point is almost 0 right. If I can say that the voltage at this point is Vp and the voltage at this point is also Vp right or I can say that it is negligibly small right. So, it is almost Vp and this is Vp plus delta delta Vp right this is a small change. So, I can neglect in that case. So, one the answer to that question is let us say that the time period of the signal is let us say that let me call T is the time 
period of signal let's say that t is the time period of the sinusoidal signal one can neglect the transit time effect when this time would be very very greater than your t let me call this as tr because this is what is called as transit time so let me call this as tr so i can neglect the transit time effect when t the time period of the signal is very very greater than the transit time right if i substitute these values what would be the value t would be very very greater than what is tr tr is nothing but my length by velocity if t is the time period of the signal in terms of frequency it would be nothing but 1 by f right so 1 by f should be greater than l by v right now for the simplification i can take v here v by f will be very very greater than l right as you know that velocity by frequency is nothing but your wavelength so that is nothing but your lambda so we have concluded the condition here i can neglect the transit time effect provided your wavelength is very very greater than the length what you are considering right and you have already seen this conditions in so many places in your text right that your wavelength of the signal should be very very greater than the length if this length if the wavelength is in comparable with the length of the wire then you have to consider the transit time effect right so this is what is called as transit time effect we'll see more in the next videos thank you